I'm so excited. Good morning. It's a good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, my name is Layla and I'm so glad that you found your way here. So this video, I've been working on this video for like a week now, but you know, with kids, school, quarantine, life, and a new puppy. It's been really hectic, but I am so excited. A little backstory, we have a pug named Yoda. My husband has a husky named Phoenix. That husky, Miss Phoenix, makes sure that we all know that she is my husband's dog. She will not listen to anybody. She will give us attitude. She's worse than a teenager. Like she'll talk back. And I found myself like talking back to her and I'm like, I'm arguing with a, with a dog. It's great. This is my life now. A few months back, I was doing some research on a good breed for a therapy dog. I have a lot of anxiety, a lot of it and it gets triggered randomly throughout the day. At some points, I, I can't even breathe and I'm, I, can't, I, I can't do anything. I can't concentrate. And having two little boys and then having school and my husband being gone, I can't do that. Like that, can, that cannot happen. So I was researching and Australian Shepherds kept popping up and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna ask my husband what he thinks. Even before I could like say the words, he was like, if you want that puppy, let's go get it. And I was like, but you don't know, you don't know how much it is. It's a little expensive, you yeah. know? He loves me. Long story short, he loves me. Like I'm all about adopting, but I'm also all about going to a reputable breeder who actually cares about their animals and aren't just breeding to make money. This breeder, she specifically breeds her pups to go on to be therapy dogs, to go on to be service dogs, to be companions, and to also be show dogs if you wanted to. But I specifically wanted a therapy dog that would just love on me. Like, obviously I know I will have to train her to do that. Like, she would send us pictures and videos and if I wanted to FaceTime, she would FaceTime me and she would show me my puppy. And like, that's, like if you ever go to a breeder, that's what, that's the kind of relationship that you want. On the day of, on the day of, we went to go pick her up and she cuddled me like a cat the entire way home. And I cried. <laughs> I legit cried when I picked her up and I was like, she's mine. And I've had animals before, I've had cats. We have two dogs, like, I love them, but there was something about her that just made me so overwhelmed with like happiness and like e emotion. So we just got to the vet and we're dropping her off just to do a wellness check. Um, you guys, she's like a cat. <laughs> she was trying to climb up on top of me the entire ride home and I am not complaining because my husband's husky made sure to let us all know that she is my husband's dog. And our pug Yoda just it doesn't care. Like he is an independent man. He does not care. But this little girl, she's a mama's girl already and I am so excited. I told my husband, I was like, you know what? She's mine. She is mine. I'm so happy. <laughs> 
she's mine. <laughs> and does anybody else do this? Wear a long sleeve shirt and then pull it up. Like, why? <laughs> Squirrel. That's the story of my little Miss Wigglebutt. I would show you, but she's napping right now. She's napping. It's like that rule, you don't wake a sleeping baby because, oh my gosh, this girl is yappy. And <laughs> she's a yappy dog. We got a whole bunch of stuff, but there are two things in my Chewy package that I am so excited about. This thing is like a... <laughs> it's called Wobble Wag Giggle. And so the dogs like roll it around, right? And it makes this noise. <laughs> and it's just so funny. It's cute. The next thing is a hide and seek plush, this hide and seek plush, and you put treats inside of it. And then you guys remember the little aliens from Toy Story? That. So you put them in here after you put the treats in and they can spend, she's maybe spent 15 to 20 minutes trying to get into her treats. And did you guys know that when they sniff something out, they're actually using a lot of, they're using a lot of energy and maybe 10 to 15 minutes of using their sniffer is equivalent to about an hour of walking. Like they exert all of this energy trying to look for whatever is in here and it wears them down. These are the two things that I'm super excited to show you guys. Wobble wag giggle. Like, it's so cute. So yeah, mini Chewy unboxing and a little backstory on my girl Veda. You guys will be seeing a lot of her from now on. I'm really glad that you guys are here. And if you guys want to keep up with me throughout the week, I will post my Instagram right here. And make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that little bell to let you guys know when I post. I will be posting once a week. This video lagged a little bit. It's my finals week, but next week it's on. Every single week I will be posting a video and I hope you guys enjoy them. I will see you guys soon. Okay, bye.